Hey guys, Tim here from Core Electronics, and today I'm gonna to do an overview of the 3D printing slicing software, Cura, by Ultimaker. Cura is an open source and free software that you can find online. Put simply, this software turns your computer files into a recipe, in this case G-code, for your 3D printers to be able to print with. Cura is great because of its community and commercial support with lots of different print profiles for any type of 3D printer available on the market effectively and almost all different types of materials. This saves you, the user, time because you don't need to go through and change all those settings yourself. With over a million users and more than a million prints happening each and every week, Ultimaker Cura is a fantastic software to help you hit the ground running. The best way to learn Cura is to jump right in. So why don't you follow me through a simple workflow so that way I can show you all the features of Cura and how they can work for you. So this is the homepage of Ultimaker Cura. And this is what you'll be welcomed with after you go through the wizard to set up your 3D printer. So this, everywhere inside this blue box is print space. So anywhere inside here, you'll be able to print with. So let's start by putting a CAD file in. So this file in particular is an STL file, but it will work with a number of different types. So the button you'd press to insert a file is this one here, or you can go up here, press open file, or you can even click and drag. So in this case, we're gonna click and drag. And just like that, we've imported our CAD file into Cura. So I find one of the best things to do now is to learn navigation. So with your mouse in front of you, zooming in and out, is as you'd expect, rolling and scrolling the mouse wheel. If you click the mouse wheel, you can then scrub the screen and look around it like that. And if you right click, you can rotate your model. These three controls will allow you to access all the different sides of your model. If you wanna do more orthogonal kind of views, if you take your mouse and come down here, you'll be able to see different types of 3D views, front views, side views, top views, and all of these different types of views will allow you to see your model in whatever orientation you really need. We'll bring it back to here, the default. If you wanna throw more models in, it's a very simple process. Just click and drag or do any of those other two options. So this is your homepage and it's worth noting different types of options you have. So the main thing to focus on is the work stages. So we have prepare, which is the stage we're up to right now. We have preview, which you'll come to once you slice your models, and monitor. So from this prepare page, you can see the connected printers. So I'm lucky enough to be able to have access to an Ultimator S5. And if you wanted to add more printers, this is where you do it from. So this Ultimator S5, because it's a dual extruder, it has two different types of materials. And setting up for it right now is ABS, at 0.4 millimeter diameter of the nozzle. So it's important that these settings match your personal 3D printer. With Ultimaker, it will actually tell you whether it's been set up correctly, but other certain printers, you need to make sure that this is correct. So coming over here, you'll be able to see an overview of the particular settings for this print. So apparently it's a normal size with a 20% infill. That's what this symbol means with supports on and also with a bed adhesion type also on. So if you click on anywhere along here, you'll be able to dive into print settings. And these print settings at this level, you can understand them as the coarser you go, the faster it will print. And the finer you they are, the slower it will print. One of the best things about Cura is these kind of print profiles. And these print profiles have already been set up and have had thousands of hours of printing already done, making them quite reliable and quite accurate. So infill change percent, is this is something commonly you'll see used. If you make it higher, then you'll have stronger products. If you make it lower, you'll have a faster printing, but less strong product. Infill percentage is how much of the cross section of your model, the internals is actually filled with plastic and adhesion type. So this lets you get the best connection between your 3D print and the print plate. So one of the best things about Cura is you can click on custom and you can get all these different types of options. So there's over 400 different types of options you can use with Cura. So if you're an advanced user, you can really dive deep with Cura and get exactly the kind of results you want. But since this is a simple workflow process, we'll just go back to the basics. 
So for this example, we'll start with uh, 0.1 fine profile. And with that, we'll close this. So looking at other things available on the screen, you can come over here and this allows you to move each particular model on the base plate, on the print plate to exactly how you'd like it. This leaves you the option to scale each particular model. This gives you the option to rotate. This gives you the option to mirror. This gives you the option to turn your model into different types of materials. This gives you the option to print your model as a support structure or more complex things such as when it overlays each other, where it's overlaid is the support structure. And this allows you to create little blocks where you can prevent the support structure from forming. Since we're using a dual extruder, we can decide exactly which type of material we wish to print with. Down here, we can select each particular model that we want. Over here, we can name exactly what the file should be called. This gives us the dimensions in millimeters of each particular object. And then over here, also worth noticing, is the marketplace. Over here in the marketplace is where the commercial and community come together to create print profiles for different types of materials and different types of 3D printers. And this is one of the great things about Cura. So without further ado, we've got our two models and we've got them placed where we want them on the bed. So let's press slice. So by pressing slice, and it should take less than a minute, you'll see all the different layers of your model be produced. So now that we've sliced, we can go to the preview section. And on this preview section, you'll notice that a couple of things have changed. So we now have, if we zoom in very, very close, you'll be able to see on our models each particular line. And these lines are representative of the actual material being deposited by the 3D printer. So over here, if we scroll, so we have two sliders. We have this one and this one. So if we scroll this one down, you'll be able to see the layers slowly evaporating away. And if we come up like this and press play, you'll be able to see exactly where the nozzle will go when you're 3D printing this layer, which is great for troubleshooting. Also over here, you'll be able to see exactly how long this print will take. So in this case, because I picked a fine option, it will take a day, one hour and 13 minutes, one day, nine hours, 13 minutes, and it will take 97 grams of material and it will and that 97 grams of material correlates to 13.79 meters worth of filament. So one of the other options you can do here is your views. So currently you're on layer view. If we go to x-ray view, you'll be able to see the exact internals of your models. And you'll also be able to change the certain colors of the models inside the Cura software. So now that we've done this, we can jump over quickly to monitor where we'll be able to see the printer that we have attached via the network. We can make sure that these settings correlate to the ones that we set up initially in the prepare settings, which they do. Bounce back to this. So now that we've selected all these options, we can now choose print over network or save to file. So in my case, I can print over the network, which I click right here. Uploading print job to printer, 100% done. And then you'll be able to see the particular you, then you'll be able to see on monitor the job show up. So we go manage in browser, you'll actually be able to see our job queued up, waiting to print. I hope this has been a helpful introduction to Cura and it's got you excited to 3D print. Till next time, stay cozy.